Hi everyone. So this video today is going to be a lot different than any video I've ever done. I've made videos in the past thanking you guys for 5k subscribers, which we already hit 6k, not even a month later. So thank you guys so much for that. This will be a PO unboxing and also unboxing a really, really huge gift that I got off of my throne list that has gotten contributions for, I think, about six months now. Finally reached the maximum contribution and thanks to a very, very, very generous donator, the gift finally received full contribution. So we are going to be opening that one today. Also have a couple PO boxes to unbox as well. One more coming from Australia, but I haven't received it yet. Hopefully I will be able to unbox that at a later time. I wanna apologize in advance if this video is a little bit awkward. I was actually very, very close to canceling my P.O. box because it's really expensive where I live to have the P.O. box and it's paid in three month increments. I recently moved to Ohio in March, so it's actually almost been a full year, which is weird to think about because I feel like I just moved here yesterday from Maryland and... That's really weird to think about that I've been here for a whole year. I got a P.O. box when I first got here because someone from my community wanted to send me something as a housewarming gift. I never received anything else in it. I do have a lot of imposter syndrome when it comes to these type of things. Like having a throne account has always been kind of awkward for me to put things on. Like these are the things that I would like. <laughs> And I just feel like in a way, I don't deserve these things at all. I am very blown away that during this Mass Effect series, so many of you have been so involved in the videos and loving my reactions and loving my journey through Mass Effect. I am just, I'm, I'm very blown away. Imposter syndrome is something that I have dealt with for a while now in content creation. I think it's just the introverted empath in me just doesn't really feel like I deserve these gifts. I am, I'm just blown away that you guys would think to take time out of your day to send me a gift. It's just, it's, it's mind blowing to me. So I'm probably going to say it a bunch of times, but Thank you guys so much for all of the love to the channel. Thank you for the subscribers. Thank you for liking and commenting and subscribing to the channel. For all of you Koala members out there, thank you so much for joining the membership. I think we have close to 25 members now, which is also mind blowing because in the last video, one month ago, I was celebrating 5K subscribers and 10 koalas and it has doubled in membership. Also, we've hit 6K already. I'm just happy that you all have been enjoying my journey here and enjoying the content that I've been making on YouTube. I recently decided to take a step back from Twitch. I'm not sure when or if I will be back to Twitch in any capacity, but if I do decide to go back, it will probably be more community games, maybe like once a month type streaming. I have just really fallen in love with YouTube and creating playthroughs over here and playing games that I genuinely enjoy playing. I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes from here. I know that I am planning on playing Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2 over the summertime, The Last of Us Part 2 over the fall winter time. And I know that's kind of far away. I plan on playing smaller titles in between and also finishing up my god of war journey before i start red dead but that is the bigger titles that i'm planning on playing this year so i hope you guys are looking forward to that i know i'm definitely looking forward to red dead one and two as well as god of war and last of us part two i'm gonna sprinkle some smaller decision-based games in there oh and i think hellblade is on there too because this Hellblade 2 is coming out sometime this year, and I really would love to play the first one. Detroit Become Human and Subnautica. Those are the other smaller titles that I wanted to sprinkle in. Subnautica would most likely be during summertime, and we also have to finish up the Witcher DLCs too. I have many amazing plans for titles that I really would love to get through this year. I can't wait to get through them with you guys. So thank you for following me on this journey. I hope that you're looking forward to 2024 here on this channel because I think it's going to be a really, really, really good one. I feel like I've been rambling. So let's go ahead and open up the very first box. I am very, very, very excited to open this. If I forget something or if I don't 
do it correctly. I'm sorry. This is my very first unboxing. And if you guys can't tell by my, my body language, I am obviously very nervous. And having some of that imposter syndrome, I'm, I'm very blown away that you all would think to send me things in the mail. I just, I can't get it out of my head that I have made such an impact on you through my playthroughs that you thought to send me something in the mail. I'm just very, very blown away. So let's get to the first one. Probably should have gotten a knife for this, but I did not. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. The first thing that I see is this very, very, very cute tally plushie. Hang on, let me take it out of the plastic. I wonder if there is a note that came with this. It's a Cali Wally note from customer. I'm just reading it to make sure it doesn't say anything about not reading it. Nope. Okay. Hey, Cali. I hope you like this merch. Unfortunately, Morden is sold out. There will be more squad mates available soon, I hope. Greetings from Germany. Oh my gosh. All the way from Germany. My family is very German. I think I have a uncle that I've never met that lives in Germany, but I've obviously never met him big brain 69 nice that is a great name big brain thank you so much for these plushies hang on i need to unwrap all of them and then i will show you guys these are seriously so cute there's three in here I'm kind of sad that Morden was sold out, but I might like look up this company and see if I can try to snag him because these are amazing. So here's little Thane. Look at this tag. This is so cool. And there's a collector's card inside. Thane Krios, collector's plushie. This is, this is amazing. It says to pull it, but I'm scared. It says collector's card inside pool here. I kind of don't want to pull it. But it says there's a collector's card inside. Is it like a Pokemon card? Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! It's Clefairy! Fuck! Oh my gosh, it's like a Pokemon card. Thane Krios, aesthetic assassin. <laughs> That's amazing. Known by a very select view as the best assassin in the galaxy. In, it says by a very select view in parentheses. Thane was trained from the age of six to be the best in the business. Though peaceful at heart, he has no qualms about using his skills for causes he deems worthy, leading him to join Shepard's quest to stop the collectors. This is amazing. Who's Calamari? It has like what he loves on the bottom and then what it looks like a broken heart, like maybe what he hates. I'm shocked because Blasto's on there. Like from Blasto 6, why does he hate Blasto? Under the heart, it has the desert. <laughs> Colyot Creos. Oh, my heart. And Commander Shepard. And then the broken heart, it has calamari. I'm guessing just like in general, like the food calamari. He hates calamari. <laughs> he hates blasto and collateral damage. That's hilarious. This is the back of the collector's card. Amazing. I... Speechless. I'm speechless. This is so cool. Look at the detail in these plushies. They look so good. And he has his little like suit on. I wonder if you can take it off. I think you can if you wanted to. I'm not going to, but the detail in this. And we also got Garys. Wait, I need to fix his hair first. I think I might need to iron it a little. He looks crazy. He has bed head. <laughs> but it's Garys. And he has his little like eye piece on that he never takes off. Garys Vicarian. Here's his. We can open up his card too. The fact that it's like Pokemon cards and they have little like likes and dislikes. I, I'm just, my heart is so full right now. Here's his card, Archangel. I'm interested to see what his likes and dislikes are. Oh my God. <laughs> this is too good. This is, this is too good. A former CSAC officer and vigilante, Garrus's strong sense of justice guides his heart and his aim. The terrain claims he wrote the book on long range shooting. 
According to Garrus, he and his trustworthy sniper rifle both possess superior reach. <laughs> so his likes are calibrations, of course, and a supportive waist. His dislikes are red tape and mercenaries. His card is probably the most hilarious. I wonder what it, I wonder why Thane's qualms is calamari i guess maybe because blasto comes from the hanar world and he's like a funny hanar i don't know and then calamari because the hanar look like jellyfish or i don't know i'm guessing that's why it's like the dislike he's like don't mock my people that saved me i need to i definitely need to iron out his little poor head his hair got very messed up in transit <laughs> but i can i can definitely iron it and make it look good and then we have sweet sweet tally look at her amazing suit it has tally zora i was wondering what they were gonna put on there like if they were gonna do vast normandy but it just says tally zora if i had to guess what tally tally's likes would be i feel like it would just be like a home like a place to call home but i don't know oh i was very wrong <laughs> her dislike is hilarious Tali Zora, Corian engineer, a gifted engineer. Her technical skills are surpassed only by her commitment to her people. Her most ardent desire is to reclaim the Corian homeworld of Rannoch. So her likes are engines, of course, and also shotguns. I didn't know that Tali was such a shotgun heavy gal. I don't really take her for that, but I believe the card. It's a it's a collector's card, so it's not wrong. And her dislikes are spiders, which I've heard this rumor about her. And slow elevators. <laughs> These are amazing. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the cards. I do have like a little bulletin board over next to me that I might just like set them on. I don't want to push a pin through them or anything. I kind of wish that when I ripped off the tag, it would have like left me a slot. I guess I could keep it on the tag. Cause they could just like fit back into the tag these are these are so amazing i am blown away by the detail thank you so much these are so amazing you can't really see them because my camera is so zoomy i've always had such a big zoom in camera but I will take some pictures of them and put them in the Discord. So the next one, it's a very long tube. So I assume that it's a poster. This is very hard to get open. Oh. I have such weak fingers. So I know that these next two are from Gypsy Roses. And they could not send a card with them, unfortunately, because they live way, way far away from me. I think you said that you were going to send a postcard or something eventually. So when I get that in and the next PO unboxing that is from Australia too, I will open both of them together. I can't even open it though. I am struggling. Oh no, I got it. I got it. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's a poster, which I'm very excited about. And you read my mind somehow, but... I'm planning on putting some posters in the background of the favorite titles that I have played this year. Mass Effect has to be up there. So if it is a poster, this will definitely be going behind me, which it is. <gasps> it looks amazing. All right, how am I going to show you guys? This poster is beautiful. The colors are so amazing and the artwork. There's Rex and Legion and Liara and Tally and Garrus. Literally all of my favorite people. Thank you so much. This is going to look amazing behind me in this room. I have some plans to kind of like redo behind me. I just haven't really gotten around to it yet, but I want to have more of like a gamer shelf behind me. This is just a plant stand that I got off Amazon. It was originally like a normal raw wood looking thing and I, I spray painted it and it's okay. I think just like a normal flat shelf behind me with all of this amazing stuff is gonna have to come, come soon. Cause I have an old N64 that I would love to have behind me. I am 
somehow growing book collections, even though I don't have time to read as much as I wish that I would. A flat shelf behind me would look so good with some posters above it. So thank you so much for this beautiful poster. I can't wait to get it framed and stick it behind me. It's kind of got like a retro type of tie-dye feel and I don't know how or why, but this is totally my style. I have just now noticed, I've been staring at this for a while. I'm gonna edit out me staring at it because it's probably gonna get very weird. <laughs> if you guys can't tell, I love art. But I just noticed on the bottom, there's a 374 out of 500. So I think I'm... I'm 99% sure that means that there's only 500 copies of this. If so, holy crap. Thank you so much. Can you see that? It's like on the very bottom. The autograph looks like it was printed on, but that number at the bottom was actually written on. I feel like this is like a collector's item. I don't know. I could be very wrong. Either way, it is very, very special to me. I just saw that number and kind of got mind blown a little bit. Thank you so much for this. I cannot wait. I already have my hair on it. I cannot wait to frame this and put it behind me. All right, one more. This one is also from Gypsy Rose. They said it was going to come in two different packages. Thank you so much for the poster. I... That was enough that you didn't have to send to. This is like way, way more than generous. Thank you so much. I see Mass Effect. Desktop Black Widow miniature replica. <gasps> it's a little mini Black Widow. Stop. So already the box is amazing. <laughs> I'm just staring at the box. But look, they put like the weight and capacity, fire rate, damage, accuracy. This is so cool. All right, I'll stop staring at the box. Let's open it. All of this Mass Effect stuff, I, I'm nerding out right now. I'm nerding out. There's like an identification number and everything. So fun fact, I don't own any collector items. I am pretty sure every single thing that you guys have sent me in my PO box is a collector item. I could not feel more honored that my first collector item stuff from a game is from Mass Effect. I am not going to start crying, but I kind of want to. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. So there's some like assembly instructions. Let's open it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I don't think you're supposed to say like a Black Widow. The biggest, baddest sniper rifle in the game is cute, but, but it is. Oh my gosh, this has some weight to it. This feels so nice. Like this is just the stand. This stand has weight to it. And look, on the bottom it has Mass Effect, Black Widow, and then authenticity number two. All right, let's put it together. Here's the gun. Boom, headshot. The little scope on there has actual numbers on it. This is so much better than the Black Widow I made for my cosplay. <laughs> I literally bought like a, a Fortnite gun and I spray painted it black and like put some silver decals on it. This one's so much better. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. Okay, so I definitely need the shelving unit that I talked about behind me. I just, there has to be some place to put all of my new collectible items that I, I'm just like nerding out so bad right now. The only thing vintage that I have or collectible that I have from gaming is just my N64. Most of my gamer stuff when I was younger ended up getting thrown into the trash can because I've, like I've told you guys before, I've had a really rough childhood. All of the things that I was collecting that I really, really liked from video games made their way to the trash can by my parents when I decided that I had enough of their crap. So I didn't really carry a lot of my childhood stuff into my adult life. And I think that's why I kind of label myself as a minimalist because I was really hurt by that. I was hurt by the moment of losing all of my memories as a kid. I don't really have much to look back on except for my N64. The fact that I have all of this Mass Effect stuff to cherish and love and 
and keep on to forever. It just, it means the world to me, guys. Um, I really, really, really appreciate it. I, I'm probably gonna have a good cry after I get off of here. I'm gonna try not to cry in this video. I'm just really glad that you guys feel all of the love that I have put into these videos and that the Mass Effect series made such a huge impact on you all too, to the point that you wanna send me amazing, amazing gifts in the mail. I, I'm just so blown away right now. Thank you so much. So I do have one more thing to unbox. It is one of the items from my throne list that several people from the community, both on Twitch and on YouTube have helped contribute. And it is the PlayStation 5. I'm not sure how I'm going to unbox it. So I will probably just show you guys the box which is sitting right behind me and then make a youtube short of me actually unboxing it and getting those aesthetic feels in there because if you all are anything like me the sound that comes off of a fresh console when you peel back the film is very very satisfying and i've always wanted to make one of those videos to share with you guys so i'm just gonna kind of like hold the box and probably cry <laughs> So here is the super amazing PS5 and it's very white. So it's making my face look weird. I need to fix the lighting in this room. So I'm probably going to just do the PlayStation unboxing in a short so that you guys can get all of these sights and sounds of how amazing it is to unbox a PlayStation 5. Don't really have a good way to do it here. So I'm just going to do it that way because I feel like it would be much better to honor the PlayStation 5 that way. And unbox all of these sights and sounds of it. One last time, I just want to say thank you so much for the very, very, very thoughtful gifts that you guys sent me. And I know I'm still looking out for one or two more things in the PO box. I'm sorry that they didn't make it to this video, but I think I have my work cut out for me now in the stream room to do some sort of shelving behind me, hang up the amazing poster that I can't wait to get a frame for. I'm excited to bring in some some of the titles that I'm playing on YouTube and display them around the room behind us and can commemorate our times and journey in those games this way. It's something that I have thought about. So it's really funny that you sent me a poster because I was thinking about doing like a couple posters of games that I really loved and Mass Effect was one of them. So thank you so much for the Mass Effect poster. I can't wait to get it hung up. And then I was also thinking about doing The Witcher, of course. And I know it might sound crazy, but a Tarkov poster because secretly in the wee hours of the morning, I play Tarkov every morning starting at 3 a.m. until 5 a.m. That is how I start my day. I'm a big Tarkov person lately. I have not always been this way. It's just this wipe has been super fun to play and I have been loving the heck out of some Tarkov so I was just gonna stick up those three posters behind me um kind of switch them out with games that I am currently playing or games that have been my favorite I'm really excited to start working on the stream room and now I have an excuse to because I have these super amazing collectible plushies super amazing black widow collectible and that poster thank you all so much for the love to this channel this community is is amazing you guys are all amazing and I I love you all and appreciate that you want to spend your time here with me through this crazy journey. And thank you all to everyone out there that hits the like and subscribe button and that comments and helps these videos get into the algorithm of YouTube. It's kind of hard to believe that I have only been here for six months and it's been a huge learning curve. There's times where I'm going to fail and there's times where um, videos might not be amazing, like back in my Mass Effect 1 where I had that awful screen tearing. I just wanna say thank you guys for sticking it out with me over here while I kind of learned through the bumps and bruises of what it means to be a YouTube Let's Player. Just the fact that I have received gifts and I have members and you all have showed up every day to comment and like and subscribe it it blows my mind and it means the world to me that this channel has given you a place to go when you just want to hang out and you just want to hang out and enjoy video games and good companies i appreciate the heck out of you all i look forward to seeing you guys in whatever playthrough we get into next i will see you all in the next one bye everyone